Welcome to Creatively Exposed, a conversation for creatives, introverts, sapiosexuals, and all of the people entertained and who love us. I am Liz Flo, the podcast host, poet, writer, and overall Afro-Caribbean Latina creative. I know that is a mouthful, but welcome to the show. Welcome back to Creatively Exposed. I am still... Well, I got some resolution. I have an update from my mic in full. It has a warranty. Look at God. Look at that. So I'm getting this random piece, itsy bitsy piece in the mail. And hopefully, uh, you know, it doesn't take as long as I hope And we can get this, you know, thing on the road. I was thinking about putting a guest episode up. So that's something I'll definitely be doing. I have a couple of amazing um, guest episodes on their way. So I'll still be putting those up. So it'll be two guest episodes this month. And, um, I've been thinking about the Erica Badu versus Jill Scott, and I know everybody's been beating it over the head about having the ability to celebrate other people while being in the same type of business or work or creation or what have you. And what really came to mind to me is that it's a proof of how much abundance there is in the world. I've been discussing in different conversations where as Black people, and this is a real specific discussion, we tend to feel like we're competing or there is not enough for all of us to eat and to win. And I don't really, honestly, I don't really know a lot of people like that, but it's, it, it is a common theme in certain spaces. There has been a lot of heavy grief that has resurfaced this week. I don't have a lot to say about it because there's nothing new with grief and rage and mourning and injustice. But I want to think about hope I want to think about the possibility to keep thriving despite all of the systemic bullshit, because there's no other word for it, made for Black people and brown people and people of color to feel like there's not enough. And so I think not only with the blessings of having the ability to experience Nikki Giovanni and Angela Davis live and Erica Badu and Jill Scott live, just sharing, holding space for one another and reminding us that there's no need to feel like there's not enough. I think that even if we go into the idea of 
writer's block or having our ideas stolen, which is also a consistent theme in the Black neighborhood. What people fail to realize is that if we create from an authentic place, authentic meaning you aren't pretending to create for, I don't know, some specific purpose that doesn't exactly align with your spirit, your soul. I know that sometimes we got to create stuff to make money or to meet a deadline or what have you. But in general, if what you're writing means something to you on a deep level, what you're creating means something to you and speaks to you, then even if it's not coming out the way you want it to, it might just come out the way it needs to. But you don't run out of creativity. You don't run out of words. You don't run out of the ability to keep creating. You just might be exhausted. You might need a break. You may need a moment to live and be one and reconnect with life and refill your cup before you finish what you're working on. But there is more than enough for all of us and to go around. There is enough space for two novelists to be in the same genre and still be successful. And I think that sometimes wanting to Fit ourselves in this box of perfection kills the spirit that we have of creation. Because in a way, I think that creation is a spiritual practice. It's a meditation. It's a reconnecting to the moment while also leaving the moment. And I've I've had these discussions with other guests and it's... Creating is like a ritual. And sometimes you need different instruments for each creation. I remember having this discussion before with an old friend. And it began to happen to me where I would need a different medium to create in order for words to come out. So that's just, it's a, it's a thought that came to my mind that I wanted to express that there's no need to kind of pull somebody down in order for you to move up, even if that person is you. There's enough space for you, your I don't know if you have an alter ego. I know I have a pen name. And both of us can fit in the same space and be the same person and the different person. I don't even know if any of this is making sense, but these are my thoughts, so I'm going to keep going. But allow that space. Release the need to control and overly guide something that is beyond you. And I feel like I'm going to be triggered when I listen to this episode. (laughs) But there's a lot of themes. There's a lot of themes. There's a whole bunch of retrogrades coming, y'all. Y'all better be ready. It's going to be, I know people get scared with like the idea of retrogrades, but it's a whole lot of planets going in a retrograde. And so all of these themes 
of kind of reviewing and going backwards is to allow space for something new to come. And you can't do that when you're in a lack mindset, when you're gripping onto things that don't belong to you anymore, when you're thinking small, because there's always that meme, I see it often, where it's like, God, nah, bigger, when it comes to your dreams and what you're trying to create and manifest and where you see yourself. We have an idea where we want to go, but we can't exactly say, okay, this is exactly how I'm going to get here. Because most times, if you want to make the universe laugh, make a plan, right? And it's not just any plan. It's an overly structured plan where you believe that you are the one completely controlling how you're going to get there. Yeah, that ain't happening. And if it does good for you, it was meant for you and it was in alignment. But um, there's enough. You are enough. You have enough to create the life that you want to create. And we need each other to get there. Sometimes we fear working with others because our information or whatever we created will be stolen. And when that happens, it's really messed up, but it's also a learning experience, right? One thing is to think there is not enough, and another thing is to be selectively abundant with your energy and your ideas and your creations, because not everybody can have access to you, but you're also not a limited resource, is what I want to iterate. So that's just been on my mind. Um, It's a really weird time where almost 20% of this nation um, is struggling with being unemployed. As you know, if you listened to last episode, myself included. But this is not the end. Like, a lot of people are talking about, you know, oh, I'm ready to go into 2021. That's cool, but we're still here today, and all we have is today. We don't have tomorrow. We don't know about tomorrow, but we have today. So why spend it thinking that you're running out of time or that... There's not enough time. Why not still continue to shape and pivot and change and see, hey, maybe I don't really want these things anymore. Maybe, and this is me talking for myself, maybe I have the opportunity to see and bloom into something else that I've maybe always wanted to bloom into. It's it's funny. Um, it's Sunday, so happy Mother's Day. And I see those who struggle on this day. But in the blessing that is having a great relationship with my mom, In my struggle of wanting to control things, I'm like, Mom, I don't really know what to do. And she said, keep doing the things that you love and enjoy. You have the chance to do so now. And so I extend that to you. And yes, you know, unemployment has taken way too long. There are a lot of hoops that we have had to jump through. It's 
uncomfortable, it's scary, it 